Hello and good morning. Welcome to your daily tarot reading with Em from the Self Love Self Care System on Tuesday the 20th of August. I'm doing our daily readings today from the original Rider Tarot, the original Rider Wake Tarot deck, considered by A. White and designed by Pamela Coleman Smith. So we're going to get our energy of the day card. I'm going to get a problem if there is one. This still is kind of nice. We didn't have a problem, did we? And I'm going to get our solution. So the angels want me to do a second card for everyone. Just for the, the problem. Okay. So I want you to do a second card for the problem. Okay. So let's have a look. See what we've got. Okay. Are you ready? Let's have a look and see what our energy of today is. Oh, we've got the hermit for today. It's quite interesting after yesterday's reading. Because you had some... Maybe you're a little bit tired. <laughs> Did you actually do some celebrating? Was there something going on? Was it someone's birthday? Were you aware? Are you aware on holiday? Are you... Maybe just needing to take a little bit of restfulness because this is really all this is. They are literally talking to me today here about this on this Tuesday. They're saying all that really, all, all they're really saying is that you're in an energy and a vibration of you just need to pause. You kind of just need to reflect. You just need to be in your own company, and it's in your company that you're going to find answers to questions you may be asking, things you may be looking at. Quite interesting with the hermit because the hermit's looking over here. So I always see this is the past, this is the future. So right's going into the future, left's going into the past. Okay, now the hermit's looking over here. So over to this way, to this side. So the hermit's saying, okay, the, the future's here and you've shone a light on it. Um, also, I did forget to mention yesterday, yesterday's reading, um, it was the full moon in Aquarius. So this would mean the illumination from the full moon is still still penetrating your cross to something. I would say to you today, there's a kind of calm edge to the day. Yet there's also a messenger somewhere in the day for you. So the light that's being shone by the hermit on whatever it is, is saying there's something that you need to see. There's something you need to see clearer. What are you not seeing clearly? Um, the Aquarius full moon was a really, really strong one and if you didn't watch my report do check it out because it's worth it because i do go through some of the information you need to know during this full moon and yes because it links to this it links to you shining a light on where you're going which pathway you're picking which direction you're going to so the angels are saying to me like it's like so you have this pathway no one has one long line and it just goes, right? We all have these different choices of where we could go. And there's always little choices. This light is going to help you to see the right one and pick it and be there in the right space. There's something um, a little mysterious about it. And it links into yesterday's full moon because the full moon was linked to, oh, can I remember, Uranus the surprise factor can come out with Uranus, right? And there's something that you're being pulled to look to, to bring you the information you need as you go forward. Yeah, hope it makes sense. But let's see if there's a problem. Ready? Okay. So it's quite interesting because I feel like the by looking at these, because we've got the one, two, three, so we've got the six of swords and the five of pentacles. The angels asked me to take two cards for this. And I know why they did it, because there's a sense of lack. What don't you feel that you have? It's like you don't feel you have something. Angels, what? A global reading, so... No, I'm feeling really like... <sighs> like this. Exhausted. Tired. As if you keep looking and you can't see, what's this? What are you showing me? It's not clear. And there's a sense of lack. And I'm getting a real sore throat here as I'm talking to you now. I'm losing my throat. Can't breathe so well. Um, what is it? Angels, can you help me? Yeah. Yeah, so I can't breathe. So what? what is over... Ah, something's overwhelming you. What's overwhelming you? I'm struggling to breathe, guys. What is overwhelming you? What is... I'm really... I mean, I'm not, I'm not even kidding you. I can't. My throat is literally like this. <laughs> Something is overwhelming you. Right, okay, just 
I want them to take it away from me because it's not mine. Take it away because it's obviously it's just for reading. Um, so I can continue on. <sighs> there you go. Right. So. It's always as if you're drowning. Excuse me, guys. I don't want you warning a lot when I do these readings. It's exhausting. It's almost as if... Oh, I know, it's exhausting. It's almost as if you're drowning. And this drowning element... So you've got water here, so you're drowning. This is like a kind of poverty element. Even though you don't really see what you've got, you've got more than you think. And there's a sense of you not feeling in your most best potential. Now you're shining the light on this and you're being quite quiet. And the reason you're being quite quiet is because you... And this is if you fall into the problem. Because remember, when I do these readings, you don't necessarily fall into the problem. Okay? Some people resonate it. Some, pe some people will resonate with it. Some people will not. But those of you who are resonating with it, this is not something you want to be living in. That pain I just felt and that sore throat I just felt and that lack of breathing. It's not good for you. It's not going to help you. And it, it's almost casting a shadow across the, the light that's being brought to you. So the angels are saying, remember the light and refuse to allow the darkness to envelop envelop you and overshadow what is. Okay, let's have a solution. That's not a solution, is it? Okay. So I do know what it is because it's not a nice card, but it's, it's pain, it's destruction, it's conflict. Yet the angels are saying, because it's a solution to this, what it is actually is that the, it's the end of that, the pain, the end of the pain, the end of the, the conflict, the end of needing to be in that energy to not go into the, the solution to this is to recognize that's done. You're done with that. You're done with feeling like that. You're done with believing in that. You're done with not breathing. You're done with feeling as if you're drowning in a lot of so the angels are showing me decisions um they're showing me lots of thought forms they're showing me a lot of mind stuff but they're saying you will either you're either going to feel like this as if you're done with it but you've had to die to get there right or you're going to accept that it was that heavy and you just need to let it go and you need to let it finish itself off now because it's done can we get another card for that please angels because i feel that's a really like a dour solution can we get them a better solution that maybe feels more gentle because that's the one you want to give <laughs> i do this i'm like oh is it going to be better yeah interesting one two three four five six seven eight nine you got the nine of one so it's similar you're feeling wounded here you you're the master of the thoughts and the perceptions that you're having and you need to change your perceptions so that you can step into having a little bit of quiet time where you actually see the truth that's really coming up for you that's what they're saying it's not it's not an overall bad thing it's just that if you do fall into the energy of the problem you may yeah i do want to get another card just to see yeah i got two cards just to see what that was about and because because it was quite dark put it on that you're not seeing what's being offered to you and there's temperance energy which is light and loving it's it's fine it's fine it's, it's more of a mindset be careful of your mindset be careful of how you're seeing things so remember you are the one not receiving there's more there's sunshine it's glorious it's fine it's absolutely fine all right my darlings it's okay right now, if you got this far, please do give me a thumbs up. I'd be super, super, super grateful. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you do feel called to join this tribe, thank you so much. I'd love you to join, absolutely. And hit the notification bell because I think you get the reminders to tell you when my videos are out. If you've been commenting, liking, um, joining in and watching my videos, I want to thank you for that. And also, if you feel cool, there's a couple of videos up above that if you haven't seen already may be of assistance to you or may give you some informational message that you needed. Namaste everyone, have a beautiful Tuesday and remember it is a lovely day as long as you allow it, there's a peacefulness about it, just let it be that way. Sending you so much love, lots of love, bye! bye.